Hello, good evening. Hey, Mario and Joanna, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, perfect. Hi, teacher. Uh, hi, how are you feeling today? Tenía problemas con el micrófono, pero ya lo arreglé. <laughs> okay, how do you say tenía problemas con el micrófono, pero ya lo arreglé? I know. <laughs> How do you say that? ¿Cómo dice eso en inglés? Oli. Mm. No. Se van a llenar de hormigas. ¿Por qué los pelas? Los... I saw it, bitch. No, don't worry, don't worry. You said that you had the microphone off. That, that, that yeah. happens. When you have kids at home, it is difficult. Yeah. yeah. You, have, you have one daughter? Or one son? No, uh, no, uh, I have a, a niece. A niece? Oh, I have one nephew at home. <laughs> How old is your ne is your niece? Eleven. Eleven? Oh, almost like, yeah. my, like my, my nephew is ten. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ismael, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are Thank you feeling you. today? Uh, fine, and you? I can't complain. I feel great. Ready to start a new week uh, and to uh, teach you a lot. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going to check that everybody comes to the class on time. I'm going to send a message to them through the group. Let me check, where is the group, where is the group? Uh, here. No. Okay, so I already sent a message to your classmates. Hopefully they are going to come on time. And let's see. So tell me, how was your weekend? Do you do you do anything special? Anything interesting? Anything cool? Did you go somewhere? Did you visit someone? Did you study or practice anything? Or did you learn something new? Nelson, Norma, and Carla. Good evening. Teacher, how do you say it? Teacher. How do you say? Excuse me, teacher. How how do you say? How do you say? Este. Un fin de semana muy ocupado. A really busy weekend. A really busy weekend. A really busy weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Maybelline. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I love your, your pink room. <laughs> thank you. Joanna is very artistic. You see, she has some paintings in, on the wall. That one looks like, Fri it looks like Frida Kahlo. <laughs> Actually, that's my work. Your what? Yeah, I work painting pots. Ah. 
Yeah. Cool. We want to see some of that. Uh, that would be nice, right? That we share a little bit about the things that we do or we are good at. Hey, Miguel Hill, eh, Fatima Luna, and Irene Lopez. Welcome to the class number nine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So let me check it out. I'm going to see if I can see everybody on the screen. One, two, and three. Okay, so, um, okay, you sent a message through the WhatsApp group. Let me check it out. Wow, it is raining, raining cats and dogs. Gracias. Okay, so I got my, my Red Bull for the night. <laughs> So Jesus, you're there. Nice. Welcome. Uh, nice to see you. And now I see Norma on the screen. Very good. Who else? Who else? Hi, Nelson. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I want to know uh, if you had a good weekend or not. If you have, if it was a, it was a normal weekend. If it was a little bit boring. If it was a little bit busy. How was your weekend? So I'm going to um, quickly take the attendance uh, in a moment. But I want you to start the class speaking English, right, with someone. So I am going to create the breakout rooms. Uh, so that you can talk to your classmates about two questions. Number one is what do you do on your weekend? And number two, what is uh, something that you are good at? What is something that you are good at? Uh, ¿Qué es algo en lo que tú eres bueno? Okay, about your talents, about your skills, right? About your ability. So you can say, I'm good at, or you can say, I think I'm good at singing. Or you can say, I think I'm good at dancing or at painting, drawing, writing. Um, good, I'm good at, I don't know, uh, taking care of children. I'm good at, um, I don't know, using technology. I'm good at, uh, learning languages or playing specific sports or musical instruments, whatever your talents or skills or uh, abilities are. Okay, so question number one, how was your weekend, right? Like, how are you, right? And how, what do you do? What do you do on the weekend? And second question is, what is something that you are good at? Okay, what is something that you are good at? So you talk about one or two talents if you want to talk, if you want to share more, okay? Uh, for example, my weekend was really nice. I was uh, short because on Saturday I had to go to Usulutan and um, accompany uh, one of my coworkers because his father died. That was really, really sad for us. So, but thank God uh, we could go and, and be with him on, on Saturday. And then uh, in the afternoon, I spent time with friends and family. And yesterday I had coffee with one of my best friends. I had in some time for, for, for being with, with, with her. And uh, I watched some movies in English. I watched two movies actually yesterday and I was checking my email. So that's something that I was doing on the weekend. Um, and about something that I'm good at, I think I'm good at taking pictures and um, probably at, I don't know, 
writing. I used to be good at writing. Uh, I still write sometimes, but it's, I don't do it that often, but I think I'm good at writing, uh, like creating, okay? Now, uh, that's what you're going to do, okay? I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. Uh, let me just check how many participants we have. Okay, so we have 20 right now. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. You have four minutes to talk about those two questions and then you, I will call you back to the session, okay? Question number one, what do you do on your weekend, right? And how are you just to practice English? And number two, what is something that you are good at? Okay, you talk about your talents, abilities, right? One, two, and go. Please accept the invitation to go to the breakout room. Let me check. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. So Jorge, good Catherine, evening. Nelson, and Monica, you need to go, Jose, you need to go to the break room. Uh, I'm going to send you to one room, uh, number one, Jorge, with Nelson. Okay, let me check. Jorge Alexis is alone. Well, he's not here, so I'm going to send you to the room number two. Please send the invitation, Jorge. I said the invitation to go to the breakout room, please. You are going to the teacher. You need to go to the breakout room in this moment. Necesita ir a la, wow. a, a la sala, okay? Eh, Monica. Juan Fernando. Okay, wait a second. I will send you to room number one. Nelson Javier. I'm going to send you to one breakout room. Yes. Quickly. Uh, room number four. Okay, perfect. So who's missing? Who's missing? Josue Cordova. Can you hear me? Okay, Nelson Javier, very good. Uh, I'm going to send you back to the room number nine. No sé por qué me da problema. Yeah, probably you need to update the, the application in your phone. That could work. Miguel, can you hear me? Miguel Hill. Sorry, teacher, but they have problems. Connection. Connection. Yeah, I was checking the. Aha, <laughs> I got you. Did you finish practicing? Yes. 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 Teacher, podría repetir en inglés la segunda pregunta, porque solo entendí en español, pero no logré anotarla así en inglés. Okay, the question number number two was, what is something that you are good at? What is something that you, you are good at? Do you? No, something that, that you are good at. Um, 
Okay, don't worry. We're going to practice that question when you come back to the session, okay? Okay. Okay, see you later. Okay. See you later. Huh, wait, I knew that I had to turn on the microphone. Okay, so everybody's coming back to the session. Hello, it's nice to see that the majority of you are here now. Juan Fernando, and I also see Kenya is here now. Miguel Angel as well, Jose Cordova, Natalia, Roxana, Monica. And I see someone named Velasquez. Let me check Velasquez. Nelson Javier. Okay, perfect. So uh, I hope that you had enough time to talk about your weekend, right? As I said before, uh, that was just to start practicing English. In a moment, we're going to say the tongue twister. So you better be ready for that. But right now, we are going to... Uh, check who's here and who's not. So I'm going to start by uh, from the last to the list, okay? From the last person, I mean, from the last to the first, okay? From the last person to the first person in the list. So please just say here or present. So I know that you are there. Okay, the first person in the, at the bottom of the list is, well, we're finishing May today. It's the 31st. So a new month is coming for us. Okay, Stephanie Lisette. Stephanie, I think I saw Stephanie. Uh, some people got a blackout in their neighborhoods. Se le fue la luz algunos. Um, so Stephanie is not there, so we're going to continue with the next person. That is Roxana. Present teacher. Okay. Next one. Thank you, Roxana. Rosemary. Rosemary, are you there? No. Uh, Rosenberg. Not here yet. Uh, Rodolfo. Not here. Ricardo Josue. Raquel. Present. Okay, there you go. Norma? Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson, Javier? Present. Natalia Sanchez? Natalia? Can you hear me? I teacher, see. a mí no me mencionó en la lista. No he llegado todavía, Carlos. Ah, como va por la N, yo dije. No, 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 voy de abajo hacia arriba. Ok. Ok. Ah, vaya. No oh, se enoje, vaya. no se enoje. <ríe> ok, uh, Natalia, creo que está por ahí, pero quizás no le sirve el micrófono. Natalia Sánchez. Ok. Um, yes, teacher. Ah, ok, there you are. Eh, Mónica Patriz. Monica, you did? Miguel, Miguel Angel Guardado? Present teacher. Okay, Miguel Alexander? Present teacher. Good. Maybelline Dariana? Present. 
Okay, then we have Mario Adolfo. Present teacher. Okay, Mr. Energy. Lorena Jamilet. Lorena. Now there. Let's continue with Kenya. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Giselle. Present. Eh, Carla Maricela. Present teacher. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Hey, Juan Carlos. Juan hey. Carlos Menendez. Nope. Okay, let's continue with Josué Alberto Cordoba. Nope. Josue, I think Josue was connected, but maybe uh, uh, maybe his microphone doesn't work because it seems to be okay. Now I now I heard you, Josue. Thank you, Jocelyn Flores. Now here, next one, Ismael. I'm here, teacher. Present. Very good, Jorge. Present, teacher, Jorge. Thank you, Jorge. Joanna? I'm here. Nice. Thank you so much. Jesus Antonio? Present teacher. There you are. Uh, Jessica? Present teacher. Fatima? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Fatima. Nice to see you again. Irene Beatriz? Are you there? I'm here, teacher. Very good. Uh, does your camera work, Irene? Yes. Yes, I haven't seen you. I don't see Raquel, Natalia, Mario, and Mario, okay? But I see the rest. So, guys, it's uh, Monday, it's a new week. Uh, FAS is the champion now. So congratulations to the people from Santa Ana and also the people from San Salvador because you, you made it to the final. It was a very good game. It was a very good game. Um, so it's time to celebrate, right? That we have a new champion in El Salvador. Let's continue. Um, too much soccer on the weekend, right? Too much soccer. Now we're going to move on. And as I promised, and as I, as I told you the last time, today you are going to practice the three tongue twisters with your partners. So you're going to practice a Sally. You're going to practice the three witches, right? The three witches. And... Um, and Betty Bottom, okay? Those are the three tongue twisters that you will practice. I'm just going to share the screen so that you can take a screenshot, right? Uh, and then I will send you to the breakout rooms where you will practice in Paris. Okay, let me share the screen. Hey, Stephanie, you are there. Um, here it is. Can you see the screen right now? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Uh, so as you can see, we have the three tongue twisters, right? Number one, uh, wait, what, what did I do? Wait a second. I think I went to the other part. Okay, here. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Simple. If three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? Um, and the last one, wait a second, this is not complete. I'm going to edit it. So it's Betty Bottom, but butter, but the bottom Betty Bottom, but was bitter. So Betty Bottom bought more butter to make the bitter butter better. better. 
So now you can see the complete tongue twister there. So Betty Bottom bought butter, but the butter Betty Bottom bought was bitter. So Betty Bottom bought more butter to make the bitter butter better. Now it's correct. So you will practice, take a screenshot, please. So you have the three tongue twisters in your cell phone or your computer or tablet, whatever you're using right now for the, con for the class. And I am going to create a breakout rooms where you will practice in pairs. So let's suppose that Jesus and Joanna are working together. So what they are going to do is to say the tongue twisters one and one, okay? One and one. Uh, so first, Joanna, then Jesus, then Joanna for the second, Jesus, then Joanna for the third one, and Jesus is going to finish. So the idea is that, that you practice the three tongue twisters with one person. Okay, so I am going to recreate the breakout rooms. Okay, so that we have enough participants in each group. Wait a second. Okay, perfect. So Stephanie with Nelson, Juan with Norma, Carla and Miguel, Angel, uh, Ismael with Mario, Irene with Miguel Alexander, Fatima with Natalia, Joanna with Kenya, Jessica, Maybelline, Josue with Roxana, Jesus and Raquel, Jorge with Catherine. Okay, so have your screenshot ready and you will have exactly two minutes to say the three tongue twisters, okay? Two minutes. So you say the three tongue twisters in one minute, right? Maximum two minutes and a half, okay? I will give you a maximum two minutes and a half and then you come back to the session. Ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation, please. Go to the breakout room quickly. Perfect. Okay, everybody's going to the sessions now. Catherine, Monica, Ismael, very good. Carla, go to the breaker room. Excuse me, teacher. Eh, creo que me redirige de nuevo con Mario, creo que dijo. Es que me cayó una llamada. Okay, no problem. Um, let me check. Ismael with Mario, yes. Uh, accept the invitation, please, so you can move there. Monica, I'm going to send you to the breakout room number eight. Please accept the invitation. Perfect. Now everybody's in the room. Hey, Ismael, what happened? Hi, teacher. No sé qué pasó, como que viene la tormenta. No me deja entrar. Okay, let me try one more time. Accept the invitation, please. Hey, Juan Fernando, can you hear me? Estoy practicando solo. Okay, tell me, please. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here. Salicit on a shoe shine show where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. If three witches were watching, three watches, which, which, wall, watch, which, watch. Nice. Very bother on bow, bother, but the bother. Betty Bottom Bow was Peter. So Betty Bottom Bow more better. So the bitter butter better. To make the bitter butter better. Okay. <laughs> to make the bitter butter better. That's correct. Bitter, so butter, yes, butter. tongue twisters can help you to improve your fluency and the pronunciation, right? Because you need to pay attention not only to speak fast, but also to pronounce correctly. 
So that is very, okay. very important. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay. So let me check. I'm going to. Close the session, the, the breakout room so that we move on, we go back to the session. She shines, and where she shines, she sits. Ahora usted diga el primero. Okay, continue, Roxana. If three wishes, we're washing three washes, wish, wish, wash, wish, watch. Uh -huh. uh, very bottom bow, butter, but the butter, very, Betty, bottom uh, bow was bitter, so Betty bottom bow more butter to make the bitter butter bitter. Bitter, butter, better. Butter, better. Better, that's correct. Okay, so that's what you have to do. Um, excellent, thank you so much for uh, sharing with us. We're going to check that everybody is here. So let's see, the majority are coming back to the session. I'm not sure if you had enough time to, to say the three tongue twisters, right? So uh, you can find more on the internet, right? On Google or YouTube, uh, as I was telling uh, Juan Fernando, uh, this kind of exercise can help you for your fluency and for pronunciation, right? Because you are pronouncing specific sounds. Um, so you improve, okay? The pronunciation of these sounds. Now let's move on. Uh, the next one is, uh, let me check, I'm going to go back to the presentation. So uh, as you remember in the last class, right? We were practicing WH questions. We practice a little bit of translation. Uh, you completed the exercises. And also uh, we practice the conversation. I start work at five, okay? Uh, so the majority of you are taking, are, are just taking this course, right? That um, it's your students, right? Um, and you had the opportunity to learn some new words, okay? Throughout this conversation. However, however, we didn't have the opportunity to listen to the to some volunteers read the conversation in the class. So I am going to ask for two volunteers, okay, to say the conversation. Two volunteers, please raise your hand um, if you would like to say the conversation to practice a little bit more. Okay, raise your hand, Miguel Hill. And Joanna, perfect. So, um, Miguel, you are Daniel. Joanna, you are Helen. Miguel, Alexander, ready, set, and go. So, did you wait a second? Uh, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, that's late. When do you when do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. 
Wow, that was nice. Very good. Class for them. You can use the reactions. Don't forget about that. Thank you so much, Miguel and Joanna. Uh, so that was Miguel, uh, Miguel Alexander. We have Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel mm. was the other volunteer. And Mario. Okay. okay. So Mario and Miguel Angel. Ready? Uh, okay. Miguel, you are Daniel. And Mario, you play the role uh, that Kellen is doing in this case. Okay. But, but okay, to make it more personalized, uh, you can use your own name. Okay. So we have Miguel and Mario. So you change the name. Okay. You don't say I'm Helen Black. You say I'm Mario, okay. Mario Adolfo, right? Yes. One, two, and three. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at life. Wow, that's late. When do you get get gone at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am TV, a nurse. I do Nouncer. the water nurse. I do the work water report on TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Mario Adolfo. I love your show. Be the way I By am the way. Miguel. <laughs> By the way, I am Miguel. Very okay. good. Excellent. <laughs> By the way, right? By the way. Por cierto. Thank By you. the way. So let's move on. Okay. That's the way that you do it. Today we're going to talk a little, a little bit about, about work, okay? The other topic that we also discussed in the last session was syllable stress, okay? So uh, you identify where the stress goes in words. That's why, that's why, okay, we focus on pronunciation in the last session. However, today we are going to focus on vocabulary and pronunciation. So we're going to make a combination of both. Now, I need you to pay attention to the different forms. This is something that you probably studied at home, right? Uh, the time expressions. So we use different time expressions uh, depending on what we want to express, okay? So for example, if you're talking about specific time, you usually say, at at seven at 12 at 9 30 at six past one right so you use different forms but at is a specific uh, preposition that we use for time now around when you say around is not a specific time. It's not a specific time. For example, hey, at what time uh, uh, did you get home last night? And you don't remember very well. You don't know if it was at 10 or 11 because you were in a celebration, right? And you didn't pay attention to the time. So you, you approximately, you say, oh, I got home around 11. Maybe it was before 11, maybe it was after 11. What is around 11, right? Alrededor de las 11. Now, when you say early, early, for example, eh, I wake up early. I wake up at six in the morning. I go to bed late. I go to bed around 11 p.m. or midnight. Normally, that's my, my, my schedule. I wake up around six and I go to bed around midnight. So um, early is the opposite of late. Now, I want you, I want to listen opinions, right? I want to listen to, uh, to some of you expressing your opinion. 
how many of you uh, go to bed early? How many of you go to bed early? Please use a reaction or raise your hand or activate the microphone and say me, right? Who goes to bed early? Can se va a dormir o va a la cama temprano? Okay, I want to see the, the hands up or the reactions. ¿Quién se va a dormir temprano o a la cama temprano? Que no se duerman. No one. Okay. Next question. Who wakes up early? Who wakes up early? At 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Okay, Jesús uh, wakes up early. And we have another reaction by Nelson. Okay, Jesus and Nelson wake up early. Solo Jesus and Nelson se, se despiertan temprano. No creo. I don't believe that. Ah, okay. Miguel Angel, Roxana, very good. Juan Fernando, Kenya. Uh huh. Miguel Alexander and Mario as well. Natalia wakes up early. Okay. Jessica. Esos son los madrugadores. Okay. Uh, in English, we have two expressions. We can say early bird or night owl. I am going to write the two expressions in the chat. Okay. For you to see them. Um, Early bird is the people who are the people who like to wake up early. Early birds. And night night owl or oh, lechuza o búho, no, are the people who, who like to go to bed late. Okay, early bird, los que los los madrugadores, los que les gusta levantarse temprano. O aunque no les gusta, lo hacen. Uh, in that owl, son los que normalmente se acuestan noche. Entonces, son mañaneros o son nocturnos? Son madrugadores o son nocturnos? Okay, so please tell me in the chat. I'm an early bird or I'm a night owl or I am both. Okay, you can say I am both. Puede ser que sean los dos, que madruguen, pero también se acuestan noche. Okay. So please in the chat, write down the answer. I'm an early bird or I'm a night owl. Okay, just to have an idea. I'm an early bird. Answer number one. I'm an early bird or I'm a night owl. That's how you answer. I'm a night owl. Very good. I am a night owl. Mm. Excellent. So mm. Fatima says night owl. Okay. Like Batman or Batwoman in this case. Uh, Jesus, an early bird and goes to bed. Oh, okay. Jesus is both. Stephanie, night owl. Juan Fernando, early bird. Maybelline, night owl. Roxana, both. Joanna, both. Okay. We can make a team. Okay. We can make a club of the early bird and night owls. Both, Catherine, okay, perfect. So now we see that there is a tendency, right? That the majority of people uh, go to bed late and wake up early. Early bird, Natalia, okay. I'm an early bird, very good, I'm both. Nice, so um, now that you said that, that you're an early bird, uh, for example, Kenya, at what time do you usually wake up in the morning? Please activate your microphone and tell us, what time do you usually wake up? Um, five. At five. At five. Say five. Wow. From Monday through Friday or from or the weekend too? Um, all of the Every day. <laughs> Every day. Every day, okay. Um, let me check a night owl. Maybelline, at what time do you usually go to sleep? At midnight. At midnight. Okay, what about you, <laughs> Fatima? 
What time do you usually go to sleep? At midnight. Midnight. Okay. Uh, Juan Fernando, what time do you usually wake up? 10, 10 p.m. No, wake up in the morning. Wake up. Mm -hmm. uh, 5, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay, very yes. good. So yes. now I'm going to ask a question to one that is both. Okay, le voy a preguntar a alguien que tiene los dos, que es madrugador y también uh, nocturno. Uh, Catherine Giselle, what time do you wake up and what time do you go to sleep normally? Um, I get up at 9 or 8 a.m. Uh -huh. I get a bed. You go to sleep? I go to sleep. I go to sleep. At 11. At 11 a.m. midnight. Okay, or midnight. Okay. But 9 a.m. is not so early, okay? Um, las 9 no están temprano en la mañana. Depende mucho. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you say depende? How do you say depende? Somebody? Alguien que sepa? How do you, how to say depende? No? Okay, I will write it in the chat. It's, it depends. It depends. Okay, it depends on. So, uh -huh, it depends on. It depends on. I mean, if you can say it depends, depende. Sin agregar nada. Pero si van a decir depende de tal cosa, it depends on. Okay. For example, if you ask me, teacher, what time do you usually wake up? It depends. Um, it depends on what, teacher? It depends on the day because some days I don't, I don't work. So if I don't work, I wake up around seven or eight. Okay. But if I have to work, I wake up around six. So, um, it depends on the day, right? It depends on the day. Um, now let's continue. The next expression on until, okay? Until uh, is like the, the the limit, right? Limit. So, for example, we are going to be in the class from seven fifty-five until eight fifty-five. Before and after, antes y después, right? Before noon, antes del mediodía, after noon, después del mediodía. In and on. Estos son los dos más eh, conf confundibles, okay? In and on. Eh, so you need to memorize. You need to memorize the expressions, okay? Al igual que los verbos y las conjugaciones, no hay secreto. Hay que aprendérselos de memoria, okay? So, listen and repeat. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Very good. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. evening. Okay, evening. Uh, in the afternoon. In the, in the afternoon. afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. So, those three are usually the only in. Esos tres son los, in. los normalmente los que utilizamos con in. Okay. Um, on on Saturdays. On Saturday. On weekdays. On weekdays. On weeknights. On weeknights. On weekends. On weekends. On Fridays. On Fridays. So uh, on on we use it with uh, days. Ok, lo, el on lo utilizamos normalmente con los días, ok, con los días, o al decir semana o fin de semana, ok. Uh, pero si las tres excepciones, si hablamos en la mañana, en la tarde o en la noche, decimos in. Uh, in the evening. It's not correct if you say in the night. No, you say at night, at night. Now, let's complete the exercise. For this exercise, I will give you 
three minutes. Okay, so in your notebook, please write down the numbers from one to seven and write down the words that you think are correct. Va a escribir en cada espacio la palabra que ustedes crean que es correcta. Okay, la expresión de tiempo. So, for example, uh, number one, I get up six. What is the expression? What is the, the correct preposition of time? Or the expression of time? At. I get up at, at. six. I get up. The morning. In the morning. In, in the morning. Excellent. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Weekdays. On weekdays. On weekdays. 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 Día de la semana. Weekdays. Mm -hmm. Weekdays. Se refiere a lunes a viernes. Weekdays. Weekend is Saturday and Sunday, right? Aunque algunos incluyen el viernes como fin de semana. Sí. Es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Ok. So. <laughs> Especialmente a mis estudiantes porque no tienen clases el viernes. Ok. Uh, so, please complete the exercise. You have three minutes. On weekend. Nine. Okay, you have uh, one minute more. One more minute. Okay, so today we have some problems with the weather. El clima está afectando a algunos compañeros. Um, Check. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Okay, volunteer number one, Raquel Beatriz. Thank you so much. Number two, please. Um, I go to bed. At mean no, I'll go to bed 
at midnight on weeknight. Excellent. Congratulations. Class for Raquel, please. Next volunteer is... Me, teacher, Jorge. Who's me? Jorge. Okay, number three, please. Uh, I start work at 11 past half at night. At night. Congratulations. Okay. It's not Star Wars, okay? No confundan Star Wars. Uh, it's start work, okay? Uh, Carla Maricela, number four, please. I have lunch. Lunch? At three, lunch, lunch at three uh -huh. in the afternoon on Friday. On Fridays. On Fridays. Aunque el Friday a veces es un free day, un día libre, ok. Ok, so that's <laughs> correct. Thank you so much. That is right. Number five, volunteer, Irene, Beatriz. Thank you so much. Irene, are you there? Ok, Monica wants to help. Monica, you did? Number five. Um, okay, I think you have some connection problems. Yeah, probably it's a connection, Monica. Don't worry, it's probably the connection. Porque se escucha entre como entrecortado. Okay, so another volunteer. Somebody who wants to read number five. Okay, Miguel Angel, please. Uh, five. Yeah. I stay up at 1 p.m. on weekend. Weekends. I stay up at 1 a.m. on weekends. On weekends. Yeah, stay up is quedarse despierto, desvelarse, stay up, okay? Eh, tarde en la noche, right? So, stay up. Oh. Yeah, by experience, don't stay up, please. Por experiencia, no se desvelen. Um, later, you have insomnia and a lot of problems. So, next person, Fatima Abigail. Thank you so much. Number six, please. I have a little snack. At nine in the evening. At nine in the evening. That's correct. Congratulations. Class for Miguel and for Fatima, please. Then we have number seven. One more volunteer. One more volunteer. Miguel Angel Guardado. I think, no, Miguel Angel already participated. Okay. Es la, la mano que quedó levantada. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Alguien más? Me, teacher. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay. Ok, Norma, eh, y si Norma tiene alguna que corregir, vamos a darle chance no. a Ismael. Ok. Seven, solo okay. que no entendí que es no. I sleep at noon on Sunday. On Sundays, that's correct. What is noon, Ismael? Noon, este, no. temprano, ¿no? No. Luego, no, no I don't ese remember. Es, ese es soon, soon, ese es luego, soon. soon. Ajá, yeah. noon. Mediodía. Mediodía, ok. Mediodía. Midday, you can say midday or noon. Se puede decir ambas formas. Noon. Midday or okay. noon. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. See you at noon. Te veo al mediodía. See you at noon. Correct. Congratulations. That's really, really good. So, guys, um, we're going to move on, okay, because of time, okay? You know that time is our enemy. Uh, we're going to uh, practice. Why do you need a job? Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a question quickly. Uh, scan the profile, who is in high school, who is in college, and who is a new parent? Please practice reading, okay? La lectura ayuda un montón a mejorar y aprender el inglés. Uh, please complete read the, the the text and then complete the the exercise exercise uh, letter a okay exercise letter a eso um, lo va a encontrar en su libro en su manual en la página número 13 
Uh -huh. Ahí completan el ejercicio eh, A y B, que son relacionados a la lectura. Para la lectura se ocupa más tiempo, así que es preferible que lo hagan en su casa. So, complete the exercise and tomorrow we check. Ok, mañana revisamos y cada quien participa dando sus respuestas. Ok, so, thank you so much. I'm going to take the attendance to finish this class quickly. Eh, Irene Beatriz. Present. Yes. Eh, Fátima. I'm here. Excellent. Jessica. Present. Jesús. Jesús Antonio. Not here. Okay, Joana Araceli. Joana. I'm here. Okay, Jorge. Present teacher. Nice. Jose, Ismael. I'm here, teacher. Jocelyn is not here. Jose. Adalberto. I'm here. Okay, excellent. Juan Fernando. Present. Carla. Present. Catherine. Present. Kenya. Present, teacher. Lorena. Here. Mario. Present, teacher. There you go. Maybelline. Present. Miguel An Alexander and Miguel Angel. Present, teacher. Okay, present. so we have the two Miguel's always Wait. present. Monica, Natalia, present. Nelson, present. Norma, present. Raquel, present. Ricardo, Rodolfo, Rosenberg. Rosemary, Roxana, I'm here, teacher. And Stephanie, teacher. Present. Okay, excellent. Hello. Eh, no sé si me tomó la asistencia. Es que me sacó el internet. Jesús. Sí. Jesús, Jesús, let me check. Okay, I got you now. Okay, so have a good night. I'm going to take the picture before we go. Y Jorge, teacher. Jorge, yes, no worry, no worry, no problem. Okay, guys, so uh, please read, do the reading. Uh, I am going to be communicating with you tomorrow morning, okay, to give you some extra practice. I need you to start recording yourself, okay? Una de las cosas que vamos a empezar a hacer es a grabarnos, a escuchar nuestra voz. Okay, así que mañana a la mañana les voy a estar escribiendo a través del grupo. So, please don't forget to be on time, right? That is very important. See you tomorrow at the See same tomorrow, time, teacher. in the same place, with the same teacher and the same classmates. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good night and a nice Bye. day. Good night. 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 Good night.